Hi, this is Ed Rudiger, and I'm going to share with you a little article I wrote for the Clarion News. It was published just a couple of days ago, but I want to share it with you now. The title is Some Sacrifices for Lent. I find it hard to believe that we're already in the month of February. I know the time flies when you're having fun, but this is ridiculous. It seems as though we were just celebrating Christmas, and now we're about to enter the season of Lent, that time of year set aside so that we can prepare ourselves for Easter. Of course, part of the preparation has traditionally involved making some kind of personal sacrifice to get us ready to focus on the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. And, and you know, that really makes sense. You see, it was thought that giving up, oh, ice cream or candy would help us to identify with the sacrifice Christ made on the cross and the sheer joy of eating two scoops of cookie and cr cookies and cream with a Snickers bar after four days of eating nothing. Well, that might approximate the joy we should feel knowing the tomb was empty. At least I think that's what folks seem to assume. And you know, personally, I think they were probably right. But rather than focusing on stuff like desserts or snacks, maybe we should ramp up the sacrifice with something a little more challenging and definitely more beneficial, both to those around us and to ourselves. And so with that in mind, let me share with you three things I'll be giving up for Lent. First, for 40 days, I've decided to stop complaining, something my wife would welcome. In other words, I'm going to be intentional in following the advice Paul offered to the Philippians when he wrote, Do everything without grumbling or complaining. Then you will be pure and innocent children of God. You live among people who are crooked and evil, but you must not do anything they can say is wrong. Try to shine as lights among the people of the world as you hold firmly to the message that gives life. Then on the day when Christ returns, I can take pride in you. I can also know that my work and my efforts were not useless. Of course, I recognize that making this decision won't reduce all the reasons I seem to have to be ticked off. I mean, don't get me started on the, the transfer for a portal. Still, if I manage to stop complaining for a little while, maybe I'll learn the importance of patience and I'll actually start appreciating what I have a whole lot more. And second, I've also decided to stop assuming. But let me be really clear. The assumptions I'm talking about don't involve things like assuming the two perpendicular cars are going to stop at the red light. Instead, I'm going to stop assuming that since I already know everything I need to know about a particular issue, it's right and good for me to avoid and ignore anyone who might suggest there may be something else I need to consider. You see, for the next 40 days, I'm going to apply the words from the writer of the Proverbs when he said, Pride leads to destruction. Humility leads to honor. It's stupid and embarrassing to give an answer before you listen. You see, maybe if I'm able to put aside making some of these assumptions for, for 40 days, I'll actually be able to grow in both my knowledge and my wisdom. And third, with the help of God, I'm going to take a break from condemning. Of course, I recognize that the targets of my condemnation have always been fairly selective anyway, with me being very gracious and understanding of people I admire and support, while coming down on those I look down upon like white on rice. But for Lent, I'm going to offer a little grace to everybody. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try my best to follow some pretty good advice offered by a person I respect more than anyone else in this world. You see, Jesus said, don't judge others and God won't judge you. Don't be hard on others and God won't be hard on you. Forgive others and God will forgive you. If you give to others, you will be given a full amount in return. It will be packed down, shaken together, and, and spilling over you into your lap. The way you treat others is the way you'll be treated. Now, that's what I'm going to remember. And, and who knows? 
Maybe if I stop wasting so much of my time and energy condemning people I don't even know, then I'll have a whole lot more time to praise the one who knows me all too well and just plain loves me anyway. And so with Lent coming, this is what I've decided to do. And, and frankly, I hope that after the 40 days, I won't go back to the same old stuff I've done before. I mean, imagine how much better and more focused my life would be if I'm able to complain and to assume and to condemn a whole lot less than I do now. And just imagine how much better those who are closest to me will feel if I'm appreciating and growing and praising more. And it staggers the imagination. As a matter of fact, the only thing that I think might actually be better for the world around me is if I didn't make these Lenten sacrifices alone. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I hope you found this little article meaningful. And I want you to remember, until I have the chance to talk with you again, I want you to remember that you are a child of God, and God loves you very much. Goodbye for now.